Hey fam, you're yeah, welcome to another episode of the hashtag no grief for icon 30 days challenge. So today we'll be talking about financial data analysis. But before we dive into the video, if you have not subscribed, why? Oh yeah, hit that subscribe button now. So the first thing you should know about financial data analysis is that is the analysis of the current issues in the company. So in this case now, they'll present you with an issue that the company is facing, they will tell you that the company is facing this particular issue and they will expect you to what they will expect you to what analyze that issue and tell them what to do. So don't forget the purpose of every I can case study report is to provide information to aid decision making. So in this case, they will present you with the current issues that the company is facing and they will expect you to what analyze that issue and provide information that they can use to make decisions. Financial data analysis is the analysis of the financial data of a company in order to what, provide information to aid decision making. So what you are doing basically is that you are going to be provided with some data, but in financial terms, in numerical terms. And this data, just like we have in secondary school or in um, primary school, they will say data is unprocessed information. So they will provide you with this unprocessed information and they will expect you to process it. So most times, usually, it covers data concerning a project, a contract, it could be a proposal. It's going to be something relating to merger or acquire, they are planning, if they're planning to merge with a company or acquire another company. So in this case now, they'll provide you with the data and then you are to analyze that data and provide information. So you are converting that unprocessed information to information. So that's why it's very, very important that your report has to be informative in such a way that decisions can actually be made with that information. You could cover a project, a contract, or a proposal. So in this case, financial data analysis covers a project, a contract, or a proposal. So if you have a requirement that it's relating to a project, a contract, or a proposal, then you know that's financial data analysis requirement. Many things will be tested, but based on the trend of questions, there are two major techniques that are usually tested. The first one is the contribution analysis, and the second is the net present value. So I created a video where I explained net present value and contribution analysis in detail. And I'll put the description, I'll put the link rather in the description box. Check it out and learn more. Today is just we're just talking about the overview of financial data analysis. So if you want to learn more and go deeper on how to calculate net present value, how to calculate contribution analysis, I created a video on that. I explained this in detail. You can just check it out. And oh, I will explain how you can know if this requirement needs, if this question actually requires you to carry out net present value or if it requires you to calculate. To carry out contribution analysis i explained in detail so you can check out that video first thing you do is check your requirements if your requirements is centered around a project a contract or a proposal then you know you have to carry out the financial data analysis but don't cram it please don't cram it people always say that requirements two is usually a requirement on financial data analysis you can make one usually a requirement on financial statement analysis while that's there's some iota of truth in that don't cram it don't cram it because i can't can change the game check may 2024 that people were thinking that requirement two was going to be on a project or contracts but no they actually tested limiting factor and they tested strategic analysis you understand so and i actually created a video on that it's also in the description box May 2024 diet, the complete report. You can check that out as well. So um, the first thing you should do is check your requirements. Check, is this requirement centered around a project, a contract, or a proposal? If yes, then that question is a financial data analysis. The next thing you have to do is check for the data. Okay, where is the data that I have to analyze? The first information that will be provided in the unseen is the list of exhibits. Go to the list of exhibits, the very first information that will be in your unseen, and check it. Check for it. They'll tell you where the exhibits, they'll tell you the exhibits where the project is, information about the project is. So go to that exhibit. You will see the data and check the data. And after checking data, check, oh, is this question going to require me to calculate MPV? Is this question going to require me to calculate, to do contribution analysis? 
how do you know check that video like i said the video where i mentioned or explained how to identify or how to determine the most suitable method i explained all that in that video you can check it out and you get clarity after doing that you calculate you calculate go to your appendix section and perform all the necessary calculations there when you are done with that go to the body of your report interpret and don't forget link your appendix to your, to your main report marks are actually awarded for it and when you are done with all the interpretations include what include your conclusions and your recommendations now if you are wondering how do i calculate how do i prepare the body of your report of my reports i actually created videos like just see see and try to say something if you have issues with case study just go to my channel sit with my videos sit with it sit with it go to it i created a playlist because some people actually complain that they don't know how to the, which order they should watch the video like which one should they watch first which one should they watch next go to the playlist section of on my channel i created a playlist step by step guide to case study something like that just check it out i arranged the videos in the way you should watch it okay which one should you watch first which one should you watch next everything my channel is is loaded so just check it out and then you would be fine you'll be fine and if you have not subscribed yeah hit that subscribe button now <laughs> and share this video actually let other people also benefits from it so when you are done with the conclusions and recommendations then you are good to go your test is max All right as secured the first thing is actually having poor calculation and poor interpretation so sometimes people actually in fact some people will have right calculation some people can for you no know, sfm you must have learned how to calculate mpv and the like some people actually calculate properly in fact they get the correct answers but interpreting is the issue because i've had students that unfortunately they actually had the correct calculation but interpretation was the issue you understand so please ensure you interpret well check the description box i actually put a i put the link to a video where i explained the practical aspects of financial data analysis you can watch that so that you can learn how to what, how to calculate and how to interpret as well and another mistake that students make is what another mistake that students make is insufficient information for decision making insufficient information for decision making so i explained earlier that the purpose of every case study report is to provide information for decision making so if you're whole report is not providing information is not informative then that's wrong for instance how what do i mean they ask you evaluate project xyz and advise the company whether to accept or reject the project and you have in fact you even wrote seven beautiful pages in fact the english you won't put self you have to look for dictionary to look for look for the meaning of some of the english beautiful but in all the seven pages did not say anything like accept the project this product has a positive MPV, therefore accept. This product has a negative MPV, therefore accept. Nothing relating to the advice, nothing relating to what we should do. Because when you're when you are doing case studies, think of it like you are preparing this report for someone that does not have time to read or someone that does not know how to read. That the person just wants to know, should I go left? Should I go right? Don't go and the 1990, this happened, that happened. No problem. Nobody is saying you should not express yourself. Prepare your reports well, express yourself, but don't forget your your whole story must what answer the requirement. You must answer the requirement, which is what should we accept or reject the project. So not actually hitting the nail on the head or actually what providing the information that the company actually needs is a problem. So while writing all those stories, 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 ensure that what you emphasize the requirement or you settle or you answer the requirements yes that's the word and finally not linking the appendix that's also a very big problem that students make marks are awarded for it marks are awarded for it marks are awarded for it. so you have something like oh the project has the the the, the mpv of project xyz was positive one million error which implies that it was positive one million one million error bracket appendix two Yes, so just be putting in brackets all those things like that there are marks are awarded for it though and i'll just put this as a bonus bonus tip a bonus tip is ensure you would have headings marks are awarded for headings 
and your legible handwriting too. Your handwriting has to be legible enough. I, I know that you're trying to rush and you're trying to finish up the first four hours can be like 40 minutes, but just try as much as possible to have legible handwriting. So this is basically all about the financial data analysis section. If you want to learn more, go to the comment section and check out the videos I explained in detail. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. Check the description for the link to register for the class.